Five months ago, Jim Harris's life was turned upside down. The photographer made a living by thinking outside the box. But a freak accident a world away changed all of that. The adventurer was stuck in a hospital bed, temporarily paralyzed. But a guy like that can't be held down. Tonight, 178 days later, he is back on his feet. Brad Underwood is here to tell us how. Brad. Well, Cammy, Jim Harris's recovery up to this point has really been miraculous. Five months ago, his back was broken. He had 10 fractured vertebrae and partial paralysis. But with the help from doctors at two hospitals here in Cincinnati and the continued work in Denver, Colorado, he's becoming more independent each day. The comeback story of Jim Harris has been documented the entire way. Hospital photos in Chile to his medical fight landing in Cincinnati. Work by some of the best doctors in the country, paired with Harris's pure determination, he's out of bed and walking. As I've progressed, I've stopped needing a wheelchair and um, now I focus a lot on walking and trying to build muscle strength back in these little groups of muscles that help, help with balance. His parents, Jeff and Mary Pat Harris, have been behind him the whole time in the hospital rooms, at the therapy sessions, and even in his temporary home in Denver, Colorado. Uh, in the course of uh, nearly five months, Jim has gone from being pretty much horizontal in a bed when he arrived here in Denver, uh, and now he gets around using trekking poles. Harris is a mountaineer, skier, photographer, and writer. He was in Chile preparing for a month-long expedition when he was severely injured after a kite he was flying crashed. But I got picked up by an especially big gust of wind, and I remember looking down and seeing the grass below my feet, you know, really only three or four feet down. Um, I don't remember the crash itself. I was concussed in the, in the impact. After surgeons fused his spine at UC Medical Center, he began recovering at Drake Hospital before heading to Craig Hospital in Denver. Since January, exercises like dangling from treadmills and walking in a pool have filled every hour of the day. I think for me, it's, it's his positive attitude that he's had throughout and determination. Uh, he's, he has been uh, very grateful for his, his sense of accomplishment and what he's been able to do while he's here. Now, during our 15-minute conversation tonight, the Harrises could not thank all the doctors enough here in Cincinnati at UC and at Drake, but also in Denver where that work continues. Their dedication, continuing pushing Jim, uh, really kept his spirits up that things are going to get better. You just have to work hard, Cammie. What a brave guy. Had a lot of fight in him. That's great. Harris says he hopes to leave Denver in the next couple of weeks, and after that, the plan is to go to Lake Tahoe for strength and training and rehabilitation.